hey, look at this. Someone sent me something and it wasn't clowny. What's up, YouTube? Graver here, and yes, I actually did get a package that wasn't from Cloudy. This is from Johns Franz, who runs Franz Foamworks, along with the Blair County House of Nerf, uh, out in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Uh, he actually reached out to me. Uh, he does a lot of 3D working, and he's actually asked me to review some stuff, which, hey, for me, is a nice little change of pace that somebody trusts me to review stuff. Um... I am going to be completely 100% honest with the stuff that he sent me. I did also ask him for an additional project, which I did pay for. Um, but yes, he did send me everything, and I've already told him I'm going to be as honest and blunt as I will be. Um, I will start off by saying, I hear that and I'm a little nervous <laughs> that something got broken in the mail, which I hope to God it didn't. But I do want to point out that, well, yes, I did blot, black out like my information and stuff like that he actually did address it to graver which <laughs> thank you so i'm just going to put that hunt to the bench because that's where we're going because we're just going to take a look at what i was sent and review it okay so this is the package that i was sent um i already know what it is going to mainly contain for me to review which are going to be some muzzle brakes that he actually 3d prints and okay so first off this must be one of the extra things that he said he was sending me um it looks like it's a front grip to something i think maybe a strife uh that is actually pretty neat Okay, this is what Okay, this is what I had actually ordered. Um this is a um a rail attachment for the demolisher and I have a I am actually working on a demolisher project, so this is going to come in extremely handy. Uh this was printed off a of Thingiverse, so he did do this for me at a nice little um for a decent price. So I just am going to have to look at see how to do all the cuts for it, and I can see where one of the screw, one of the uh, screw ports is being used, and I think the rest of this is friction fit on, or it's just screwed in on the other side. So that I will be looking at. And okay, there's one of the muzzles. Aho! Okay, so. Um, the one thing I don't see in here, which I did ask was for a, um, was for, uh, some information on what pricing would be. So if you do want to reach out to him for any kind of pricing or whatnot, um, I will have all the information down below, um, link to his Facebook page and just other ways you can reach him, uh, to get stuff printed. But here we have a rev trigger, which will be nice in the demolisher. Hopefully it will fit. I think it should fit. Uh, so this is going to be quite handy. And two muzzle brakes. Now these are the styles that he does do. Uh, looks like this one was a mixture of filaments, which actually is really neat because you can't even tell the difference. It just blended perfectly. Um, as with any 3D print, there are print lines on it, but these are actually very close. So the print lines are really minimal. So if you do any sanding to this, it's not really going to be affecting it at all. The print quality is honestly very, very good. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with the print quality. This is very very well done uh let's let me just grab something real quick and i will test the attachment all right so i grabbed one of my demolishers that will eventually be a project this it may be the candidate for this piece i don't know and i realized also before i was kind of holding it backwards it actually does attach like this so 
or it would go on the demolisher like this this being the front end of it um <laughs> not like this because i'm like trying to figure out hey how does that work because the screw ports are on the wrong side i'm an idiot sometimes but let's see the okay so it actually is a very nice uh fit uh it's, it's a tight fit but it's not something that you feel like you're going to break with it um once it's on it's very secure there's a there's absolutely zero wi wiggle room in it at all um the twist and the removal like i said it's tight but putting it on you can feel the pressure of it actually like kind of like locking into place so to speak even though there is no locking mechanism this is not going to be going anywhere on you during gameplay so that's really good uh let's just the other one yeah this one same thing very little wiggle room uh this one is a little looser to get on and off but once it's on it really it does it's not going to go anywhere it is a short muzzle so i mean it's not very long so you don't have to worry about like really whacking anyone with it but the oh, wrong way <laughs> the muzzle it's i mean the quality is good the the fit is really good they're tight they're not going to go anywhere um i do have a strife but it's i'm not sure 100 percent sure where it is but if this is like anything else this would definitely be a nice fit um you know what give me one second i'm gonna try and find my strife okay so thankfully that didn't take anywhere as near long as i thought it was going to be but we can see Oh, that is a nice oh that is a nice front grip i do like it so it just slides right over the rail attachment and just sits right into the corners right there now there is no locking piece for it so it is this unfortunately is very easy to slide off um but I mean, if you're using it with like any other kind of kit that has like anything that locks the front plate in, it's probably not going anywhere. Um, I see how it's supposed to lock the little ribs that are right here. You can see where it kind of indents in there. It locks in, I think, there with like a little bit of friction. Um, the friction isn't too strong, but the design is actually really nice um i really do like the design on it um if there was a way to just kind of lock it in by even maybe putting in a little notch down here oh wait wait i'm mistaken there is a notch down here uh right there it's kind of hard to see but there is a notch in there that does actually work with the rel attachment point um my only suggestion would be is if it could maybe be be beefed up a little bit more just so it kind of holds a little better because at least on mine it's a little it's fairly loose but i have to say the design of this front grip is really nice and actually very comfortable um i definitely give kudos to that so yeah the grip is really really nice uh just maybe make that little tab a bit bigger and i think we would have a winner um i'm not pulling anything apart right now to actually test the uh rev trigger but it does look like it's the boba lolo style one which i think is available on thingiverse and other various places and again print is very clean the you really don't see very many lines and or if any at all so i mean this would definitely be a very smooth um be very smooth for an operation so that's all i can say for this so uh let's just go to my final thoughts on these okay so my final thoughts on the stuff from josh the quality of his prints are really good they really have zero print lines um occasionally you'll see like 
one or two that may have strayed a little bit, but I mean, it's 3D printing. That's bound to happen on anything, even regardless of the tolerances, which again, these are really, really good tolerances. The edges are not sharp at all. The Even with this one, where you could see that the color ran out and just blended in, it blended really well. And like, there's no, you don't see any kind of even separation at the line at the uh the difference of the colors there the quality is very very good i i must admit that and i actually did reach out to josh um regarding this uh just to kind of give him a heads up turns out that this is actually a prototype that he sent me uh he did say production ones will have a bigger tab so that it will actually stay uh it will stay locked into the stripes a little better so I mean, this is mine, fine, whatever. I don't plan on ever probably using this tack rail for anything important, so I may wind up like epoxying or gluing this in there just, you know, for the hell of it. So, or maybe even putting in a screw or something. I don't know, but it is something I would be willing to use on my Strife, so there is that. Um, and again, even being a prototype, this print quality is still pretty damn freaking amazing. So... If you are interested in getting some uh, 3D printed stuff done by him, like these muzzle brakes, the Strife front grip, a rev trigger, or something custom, uh, reach out to him. It's Joshua France. Link will be in the description below for his uh, Facebook page. You can just reach out to him directly. He's more than he'll be happy to work with you. Uh, he's also very punctual at actually responding to Facebook messages. Um, I try to be. It's just at work sometimes it's hard for me to do. But even at work, um, when I've had when he's reached out to me or I've reached out to him, he's still been on the ball with answering. So customer service so far, I could say, has been really damn good. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, as always, throw me a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the uh, print quality and the designs of these muzzles. And definitely reach out to Josh for some 3D printed goodness. And again, thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Later.